Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're ranking the best big game players in NFL history. This is part one of a two-part series, so stay tuned for part two coming soon. At number 25, Julian Edelman. Edelman hasn't lit up many scoreboards, but the Super Bowl 53 most valuable player has made as many big plays as he has nicknames, which is to say many of them. The one-time parachute for Tom Brady is second in pass receptions and yards in postseason play. At number 24, Lynn Swan and John Stallworth. Swan or Stallworth, Stallworth or Swan. The longtime teammates entered the league together. They put up eerily similar postseason numbers, and they dominated one Super Bowl each, winning four brass rings apiece. They're joined at the hip forever, so it's only fair to combine them into one. Are we sure they weren't the same guy? At number 23, Charles Haley. All Haley could do was harass quarterbacks, collect Super Bowl rings, and annoy the heck out of team management. He was the first player to win five Super Bowls, and only four others have more sacks in the postseason. As talented as the Cowboys were at the other side of the ball, they don't win three Super Bowls without his final piece to the puzzle. At number 22, Tony Dorsett. Dorsett was so smooth and so consistent for so long that it was easy to take him for granted at times. His best five-year playoff run, 1977-81, was about as good as any in his position. 1,259 total yards and 10 touchdowns in 12 games. He averaged a healthy 4.6 yards per attempt in the postseason, and a lot of them came between the tackles, where his vision, instincts, and burst speed left many a defender in his wake. At number 21, Marcus Allen. Allen's 74-year-old pirouette in Super Bowl 18 remains one of the most electric touchdowns in postseason history. Yep, I can still hear John Facenda now. On came Marcus Allen running with the night. One of the all-time dual threats checks in at number 5 in yards and number 7 in touchdowns on the ground, as well as number 5 in pass receptions among backs. At number 20, Kurt Warner. Warner put up postseason numbers that are as impressive as any quarterback around. The current postseason leader in yards per attempt, 8.6, also ranks second in passer rating, 102.8, and sixth in yards per game. Only a second Super Bowl title stands between him and a spot in the top 10 here. If Ben Roethlisberger hadn't threaded a football through the eye of a needle in late Super Bowl 43, he might just have it too. At number 19, John Riggins. Every football fan in North America knew that Riggins would carry the ball early and often, but few defenses could do a dang thing about it. Take his signature play in the fourth quarter of Super Bowl 17. One fourth and a foot against a stacked line, the diesel flicked off a Miami Dolphins defender like a gnat at the line of scrimmage and then outran another 43 yards to pay dirt. There were six times that he went over the 100 yard mark in the postseason and his team won every one of them. At number 18, Herb Adderley. Six championship rings in 12 seasons, 14 and one record, crazy. Adderley made history when he scored the first defensive touchdown in Super Bowl history. A 60 yard exclamation point against the Oakland Raiders in the second AFL NFL championship game. At number 17, Jack Lambert. We'd argue that the Steel Curtain has the greatest defense ever over an extended period, and Jack Splat is a primary reason for it. Two momentous plays summed up the man and the player his body slam of mouthy Cliff Harris in Super Bowl X, and late interception in Super Bowl XIV. They said it all about his emotional leadership, physicality, and athletic talent. At number 16, Roddy Lott. Lott would give the tip of his left pinky finger to play in the postseason. You know, the one that was amputated before the 1985 playoffs? The guy was half lunatic, half warrior, and full-time turnover machine. His 11 interceptions are tied for the most in postseason history. And versatile? He started games at right quarterback, free safety, and strong safety in the playoffs. At number 15, Troy Aikman. Could the Cowboys have won three Super Bowls in four seasons with a loudmouth narcissist as a quarterback? Maybe, but probably not. Aikman was a low-key and Cali cool, and the ideal complement to the many egomaniacs around him. Not many QBs have thrown a football with his kind of precision and accuracy. And at number 14, Forrest Gregg. Legendary head coach Vince Lombardi referred to Greg as the finest player I ever coached. Who are we to argue? The Hall of Famer provided the daylight for a vaunted power run game that was the hallmark of the Packers dynasty. In his 10 appearances, the offense averaged 150.3 yards on the ground, a lot of it behind the Iron Man who blocked like a tackle and moved like a guard. Well guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Be sure to smash that like button, sub to support Utopia, and ring that bell so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching.